Hello everyone, how are you today? Welcome back to my channel. I am Dr. Paramjeet and this is Doctor Education. Those who don't know me, I am a consultant physician cardiologist at Yashoda Super Speciality Hospital, Nehru Nagar, Ghaziabad, Delhi NCR. And this is my channel. And I make videos about health and health care topics and I make simplified medical explanation videos and giving you a very authentic and very simplified language explanations and information about medical topics. So a lot of videos have already been made on various healthcare topics. So do browse and search for your favorite topics on my channel. And if you subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon, I'm sure you won't regret it. So today's topic guys is diet and kidney stone, diet, nutrition and kidney stones. And we have already discussed a few topics about kidney stones. Uh, we have discussed the types, the reasons of kidney stones, why they happen, the causes, the symptom signs, the testing, as well as we've discussed the treatment plans for kidney stones. And uh, in a conditions, in another video, we have seen what are the other medical diseases, medical conditions, which can actually increase your risk of having kidney stones. So it's not just about diet, but a diet has a key role. It's an important role. If you want to know about health and have health concerns, then subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon. You'll be notified about all upcoming videos. So someone asked me, sir, can I help prevent kidney stones by changing what I eat or drink? The answer is yes, of course. Uh, if you drink a lot of fluids, mainly water, that is the most important thing which you can do to prevent kidney stones. Unless you have a kidney failure, Many healthcare professionals will recommend you to drink at least eight glasses of water a day. So according to your weight height, obviously, according to your build, according to your day to day activities, you can vary the condition, the amount of water. But a lot of studies have been done for various dietary approaches to actually tackle with kidney disease. And one of which is a dietary approach to stop hypertension, a DASH diet is seen, which is a very good diet to actually reduce the risk of kidney stones and it has been proven and uh, this diet is actually number one diet amongst 40 other diets all over the globe and this has been recommended by the US national use as well as a lot of uh, US dietary federations. So uh, a lot of other studies have also been done and which shows that your weight increasing weight has been associated with kidney stones. So obviously in order to prevent kidney stones you have to manage your weight as well. So a good diet, a healthy diet is very, very important to manage kidney stones. So how we will go along here is we will discuss what kind of substances you should eat and what you should avoid according to the type of kidney stone which you have. And it does vary because there are four basic types of kidney stones as we discuss calcium stones, which calcium uh, basically joins with calcium oxalate and calcium phosphates. Then there are uric acid stone, there is a struvite stone and there is a cysteine stones. So uh, all these stones have a different dietary requirement. That means if you have uric acid stone, there is no point in avoiding taking calcium. And if you have calcium stone, there is no point in doing that. That means if you want to prevent or treat kidney stone based on diet, then you have to first know which type of stone do you have that's why many doctors recommend you if you have a kidney stone to specially collect to collect your urine and then filter it to find and uh, you know catch the stone and get it tested so that we know which type of kidney stone you developing you are developing so based on the type of kidney stone you can prevent further kidney stones by making changes in how much sodium or proteins or calcium or oxalate you take in your food in your diet. Let's start with calcium oxalate stones. So as I already stated in last videos, the most important problem is it is oxalate, not calcium. Calcium if only present in a very high amount can cause a problem. A normal amount of calcium will not cause a problem but high oxalate is an issue so target is to reduce oxalate so if you have a calcium stone then you may want to avoid these basic uh, foods to reduce to help you reduce the amount of oxalate in your urine so what are the fruits what are the foods which are high in oxalate 
all the nuts and nut products or peanuts which are basically uh, legumes which are high in oxalates then spinach is high then wheat bran is high in oxalate so all these things should be taken in a very less amount or you can avoid it then you can reduce sodium your chances of developing a kidney stone increases when you eat more sodium and sodium is a part of salt common salt the sodium can be present in high amounts in all the canned foods packaged foods fast food so you need to avoid all these things as well the third thing which you need to avoid is animal protein you have to limit animal proteins uh, animal protein increases your chances of developing stones it has been seen uh, through research and uh, therefore you should avoid taking beef chicken pork especially organ meats then eggs especially egg yellows then fish shellfish can be avoided then even sometimes doctors recommend to avoid cheese milk and other dairy products because these are also high when i talk about avoiding i don't mean you need to stop taking this i mean take it in a less amount amount limit the intake to normal or below normal that means you still need to make sure you get enough proteins in your diet through your diet so consider you can even consider replacing some kind of meats or animal proteins with veg proteins like beans or dried uh, peas or lentils then uh, you can uh, try and take soya in your diet right so obviously along with this you need to take enough calcium calcium i cannot stress enough calcium is required because calcium deficiency can also lead to stones even though calcium sounds like it would be the cause of calcium stone it's not so having a right amount of calcium is very important then let's talk about calcium phosphate stones now just like calcium oxalate stones obviously a low sodium limiting animal proteins is required and a lot of water should be taken enough calcium should be taken but in if you are having calcium phosphate stones good thing is that you can take a lot of nuts you can take nuts almonds and cashew nuts drug, seeds you can take sunflower seeds soy products legumes dried beans lentils peanuts all these things can be taken to replace the other animal proteins which we asked you to avoid then uric acid stones obviously uric acid if you have uric acid stones you don't need to avoid even salts you can take salts the only thing which you need to avoid in uric acid stones is animal proteins and you can take any types of uh, plant based proteins nuts seeds and other kinds of uh, soy and soy milk uh, proteins tofus uh, to actually balance your protein requirements but animal based proteins you need to limit uh, and uh, in case of uric acid stones and a lot of other steps can be taken a dedicated video is there on our channel on uric acid high uric acid uh, and how to deal with it so do check that out and uh, lastly if you have cysteine stones which runs in the family then the only thing which you can do is drinking a lot of water enough water fluids is the main uh, main line of prevention for uh, cysteine stones so all these things are there so if we talk about the baseline what you need to do for any kind of stones if you don't know what kind of stones you have one thing which you can do for sure is drink a lots and lots of water at least 8 to 12 glasses of water per day so that you have like good amount of white urine if you are having dark colored yellow colored brown colored urine that means you are dehydrated and you are not taking enough water then second thing which you need to do is limit the amount of salt don't take very high salty food don't take fast foods don't take any kind of packaged or canned foods don't take fast uh, junk foods these foods are very high in salts then limit the amount of animal proteins you don't have to just stay away from them you can take them but in a limited amount then obviously uric acid has to be tackled and check for all these conditions you can reduce the uh, spinach and green leafy vegetables and even sometimes tomatoes syrups are asked to be avoided or taken in a less amount so all these things have to be done to actually avoid having renal stones but make sure guys diet is not 
the whole sole reason. Diet is not the sole reason here and a lot of conditions, especially dehydration and medical conditions, drugs, they can lead to uh, higher risk and higher chances of having a kidney stone. So, you, you still need further evaluation and other factors need to be tackled to make sure that you don't get renal stones again. So that's all for today guys and hope you liked the video, hope it was helpful and uh, don't forget to check out other videos on kidney stones on my channel and do check out the video on lithotripsy, it's going to be a very good video uh, coming up in the next few days and do help us out by sharing these videos as much as you can to your friends or family, don't forget to subscribe the video, hit the bell icon, that's how you'll get the notification for the next upcoming video. Till next time, stay connected guys. Stay healthy.